There's the light. Let's go this way. Okay. Say hi. 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 Say welcome Bleh. to Bleh. Osho Bleh. Farm. Bleh. Say hi, friends. Bleh. You show them your haircut. Day two. This is my sweet sister, Jen, and I called her over to come and help me do this project. We talked about it, I think, on a video when we were doing our floor remodel. So I will link the wallpaper that we chose. This is a stickable paper, and I did not want to paint this piece of furniture. This was the very first piece of furniture that my daddy, my kids call him Papa, bought my mom when they were married, and I inherited it. I don't know, maybe 15, 20 years ago. So it's really sentimental to me. And so to kind of brighten it up, we're adding this wallpaper to the back. And all of my china is still in the garage on the ping pong table. So I'm excited to get this finished so we can get back out there and play some ping pong. So Jennifer teaches at a private school here and this is her off day her weeks rotate how would you explain that Jen she it's uh, it's crazy it's a block schedule so some weeks I teach Monday Wednesday Friday the next week I teach Tuesday Thursday and it just flip-flops like that so today's Wednesday <laughs> yes and I have the blessing of having her here for a couple hours we both have things we should be doing besides this but this sounded like more fun Okay, so here I am making one of my besties, sweet Jessica's famous barracho beans. You just start with three pounds of beans, adds a teaspoon of salt and pepper, some garlic powder, chili powder, and cumin. I will link the recipe down below. We do a double batch to feed our family one meal and then put one in the freezer. They freeze really well in a nine by 13 or a Ziploc bag. Add some minced garlic. I always am heavy with the garlic. Tastes yummy. And then you start by adding about four cup, I'm sorry, eight cups of water to each one. And then as it cooks, you'll need to add a little bit more. The beans will soak up some of the extra water. So I usually just kind of eyeball it. I either add more chicken broth or water. So give it a stir. Put the lid on and then I cook these on high all day until the beans are soft. And then I was cut chopping these onions for multiple recipes. So I am peeling them and chopping them. Every time I've bought a onion dicer it has broken and oh, without too much time passing so I cut these the old-fashioned way so I'm adding an onion to the beans and I'm also chopping some jalapenos for a couple of meals I use these food safe gloves because I have touched my nose or eyes in the past and it has burned for hours and ironically after even wearing the gloves, I still felt like my face was burning a little bit. So here's me adding half of the onion to each crock pot and a handful of jalapenos. That's probably one jalapeno divided between the two. And then after that cooks and the beans are soft, you add some cilantro and a can of Rotel. So we also tried a new recipe called carne asada and it had a lot of citrus in it. So I was juicing some oranges and chopping the cilantro. I love Coke Classic, so that was a treat when we checked out at the store. I love the smell of fresh cilantro. There's my sweet Emma helping me. She's trying to do this one-handed. So you just add all the ingredients. I'll link that below and stir that up and you, this is a marinade that you marinate the beef in. It said for up to eight hours. After eight hours, it said it broke down the meat a little bit. So 
You add some fresh pepper and cumin. It smelled so good. So I just made carne asada and you just watch the marinade and I just poured it over this skirt steak from Sam's Club. It was two packages. One was about two and a half pounds and the other was a little closer to three pounds. So it's about five and a half pounds of skirt steak. And then I just poured the marinade over it and we'll just let that sit in the fridge today. And Brian will grill that for us this afternoon and we can eat on that all weekend. The only thing that I didn't have that the recipe called for was fresh lime. So I just used the liquid lime from Walmart and hopefully that will be good enough. And then you saw me make my friend Jessica's barracho beans. I made one for tonight and one for the freezer. We are out of bacon and I did not buy any at Sam's because it was very expensive. So I'm hoping to make an H-E-B order today or go to H-E-B to pick up a few things. I wanted to make some pico to go with these asada tacos and maybe get some bacon for my beans. So here is our finished hutch project we actually had to end up ordering another roll of wallpaper so we had to put it on hold until that came in we had to match the seam right here in the center but it turned out really pretty it has like some coral and light grays and i have some of my grandmother's um, bowls and things that really pull that in together so it looks really Pretty. We're really thankful that it's done. Isn't that pretty? I can link the wallpaper that this is. It's just peel and stick. It actually went on really good. It was very sticky. So there's one part here where there's a little bit of a wrinkle, but I don't think you can even see that unless you're really inspecting it. And when you put the glass on, the reflection kind of makes that even harder to see. One fun story about my china. I'm gonna give a shout out to my mom. So when Brian and I were at Dillard's registering for china, this is the china that I wanted. This very traditional floral china. And he did not like it. And I was really disappointed. But, so we ended up choosing, which I do love. It's very classic and beautiful. Just this Mikasa plain china. But on my wedding day, when we were opening up our wedding gifts, I guess not on my wedding day, but in the time around my wedding when we were opening gifts, my mom had bought me the tea set to the china that I had originally picked out. So real life, that is sweet Evan playing with his cars. He has them all lined up on the window seal and is talking to them. He's played so well today on his own. He's being real creative and yeah. Thank you for watching. We would love it if you gave this video a like and um, subscribe. We'll see you in the comments. Bye.